hello there and happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your midweek Wednesday reading. Let's get right into your general reading. I am talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Virgos. Let's go. All right. Oh, at least eight streams of income. Very nice. Somebody's sitting around overthinking it, though. You don't need to overthinking. This is where you're going to keep yourself busy. Now, listen, remember yesterday kicked off uh, retrograde, Mercury retrograde in Gemini, right? And so one of the things that you can be praying about or writing out because you want to get it out of your system of the overthinking about money coming your way is source, God, most high. Give me something to, constructive to do in the meantime, while I am waiting, give me something constructive to do because sitting around overthinking this is not going to help you at all. It's not going to help you at all. Right. And asking out of your mouth or writing down, remember, this is a beautiful time. This is what I really, really love about retrograde and us moving towards a full moon. Then we have the lunar eclipse. So it's a lot of wonderful things that are happening. If you really think about it, because planets don't move slower and they don't move backwards, right? It gives that illusion. So this is your time to really sit down and speak into existence what you want. Just say it out of your mouth. And so we have we have um, from yesterday to June 2nd for Mercury to be retrograde. So you could be getting some crazy messages that are coming through, especially around full moon time. Again, if you feel exhausted, emotionally drained, this is not something that you want to overthink. You really don't want to overthink this. You want to take action. And your first point of contact should be source, not your friend, not your kids, not your, your spouse, whomever. It should be source, going directly to source. Source, come to me in a dream. Come to me, you know, through a complete stranger, through somebody who doesn't know the situation, what my heart's desire is, so that I'll know it's directly from you, right? Where is these eight streams of income coming from? Where? Where is it coming from? I don't want to sit here overthinking this anymore, right? Because that idle time that you have, you're going to start thinking about what snake bit you. I can't trust this person. I can't trust that person. I can't. This person did this to me. Because remember, full moon energy is about illuminating your path. So you're getting an opportunity to see also what you need to remove from your path. That's blocking your money. It's not stopping it, but it's blocking. It's obstructing your view, your spiritual view. So remember, you have kundalini experiences. You can look at it as like, oh, I can't trust this person. They were a snake. But no, I see you having kundalini experience, something that's kind of waking you up, getting you out of that comfort zone of sitting there overthinking it. That's where somebody is. This is a comfort zone, sitting there overthinking it. Where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? You also have another duality, your divine masculine energy, Virgos. Your default is divine feminine. So you are very receptive. You know, your energy is cyclic. So you may be sitting around thinking about this or, but it's going to cause you to be a very low vibrating Virgo, if you're sitting there overthinking it. And so imagine having to go back into the workplace, whether you physically go back into the workplace or you're just online teleworking. If during, during, um, during, uh, retrograde in or Mercury retrograde in Gemini, somebody sends an email or a text message or something that you misunderstand or they misunderstand what you're saying. It can come off. It could, it could be the beginning of a horrible relationship. If somebody doesn't say, oh, wait a minute, what did you mean by that? I want to make sure I didn't misunderstand. I want to make sure I didn't misread what you wrote. So maybe you need to pick up a phone and call the person instead of assuming the worst, because that's what Mercury retrograde will do. The information coming through is garbled via text messages, emails, DMs, whatever. That's because Mercury is the communication planet. It's yours and Gemini's ruling planet. So again, but it's in Gemini. So somebody may say something or send an email again that can be misconstrued. All you have to do is say, First source, give me the words to respond to this so I don't misunderstand what this person says. You may look at it as like, okay, it's black and white. And you may feel like, okay, I'm going to save them, hold on to this email. I'm going to hold on to this text message because I may be able to use this against them later on. That's not going to help you during Mercury retrograde. There's too many people who know about Mercury retrograde because the person could always come back and say, oh, I didn't even realize it offended you. I was in the middle of doing X, Y, and Z. I just sent the email and wasn't even thinking about the tone. My apologies. Right. So a lot of things could be avoided. But again, I don't want you to continue holding space for worrying and overthinking, because, again. Money is trying to come through. 
So even when a little bit of money comes through, it can come through from a different source than you've been waiting for, be in a posture of gratitude. Because that's, again, your test to see what it is. See if you're, if you're going to be in a, and be grateful for even, I can't even say the small blessings because it's a test. Let me see if I bless Virgo with a new job or new opportunity. Your attitude towards it is going to either speed up the process or delay it. If you're overthinking it, oh, you know, I did need more money, but this is not enough. And I need more money for X, Y, and Z. Where's the gratitude to source? If you now have a peace of mind and you had to cut some people off, be grateful to source because you took action. But again, I'm seeing somebody be unapologetic about not overthinking anything, continuing to keep your vibrations high, being a very kind person and moving forward, right? Nine of wands. Somebody is going to be looking back. See how this person is looking back after this long and arduous journey of being enlightened. Wands energy is fire of really, really being enlightened and saying, what did I learn about myself? Not about all the people that burned me and they did this and that person was a snake and all. Not that. No, it's more, what did I learn about myself? Could I have spoken up sooner? Could I have just picked up the phone when I misunderstood an email or a text message? Could I have just picked up the phone? You know, could I have to reach out to source first and ask, right? So somebody is sitting down thinking about what am I, what am I not doing so that this can be released to me? This is your time. That's what I like about playing this going retrograde because even though they don't move slower and they don't move backwards and it gives that illusion, it's also your time to really think about things. Slow down, you slow down and think about things, you know, how you want to do things moving forward. What did you learn about yourself moving forward? Let's see what else we have here. Yeah. This is a great time for you to start focusing on... Um, Whatever hobbies you like, maybe you can start a new project. Maybe you can join a new group. Um, maybe you can do other things that's going to take your mind off of waiting for something because that idle time of sitting around thinking about who hurt you and who betrayed you and I can't trust this person and this person lied to me and that kind of stuff is really, it's going to be, it could become even more intense around full moon because the moon is attached, aligned to our, excuse me, aligned to our emotions and our feelings and our moods and our subconscious habits and our intuition, right? Ace of swords. But I do see somebody having a breakthrough. I do see somebody going from, you know, taking this sword and saying, I'm going to cut out this overthinking. I, I need to find something to keep myself busy, something productive that's going to keep me busy. That's going to keep me in a high vibrational mood. That's what I'm seeing for you. Very nice, Virgo. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Here we have a look for fairies. This is why I want you to really believe in the impossible because God is beyond zero is the God number. But we also have the number three. What are you pulling from your past and optimistically moving forward towards your future? Being optimistic. All that overthinking and worrying about things is going to make somebody physically ill. It's going to end up putting you in the hospital or have, you know, compromise your immune system where you may be down for a couple of days. You don't need to overthink anything. What you want to do is do something that's going to really keep you in good spirits. Only you know that. Only you know what's going to keep you in good spirits. Let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading, Virgos. Yes. Very nice. The majority of cards I'm looking at in your minor arcana are money cards. So, yeah. Somebody has some business ideas. This is a good time to sit down and look. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah. Somebody has this belief in themselves that I see it. I see multiple streams of income. I just don't know how to get to it, right? What is blocking it is the overthinking. What is blocking it is this, the judging of yourself, like harshly judging of yourself. Perfectionism is, is blocking it, right? Because if you push those things to the side and say, you know what? That's right. Built in me, I am the I analyze sign. So by default, and I've said this a lot, um, and I think some people are getting it. I would always, I would suggest also is to make a, make it a priority to follow some, maybe celebrated Virgos, maybe some people whose sun sign is a Virgo, follow some Virgos who are not interested in being perfect in public. Remember the scrutiny that celebrities are under the people are watching what they're wearing, how their hair is fixed, you know, um, who they're dating. Sometimes that overshadows their their um, their craft, right? 
And so be grateful, one, that you're not under that kind of scrutiny, that you're not under that kind of a spotlight. But I would encourage you to go to YouTube and listen to some of their interviews. They're not trying to be perfect. They're just trying to get it right, right? Because what is perfection, right? And when you're not doing, when it's not perfect, you can end up being like a, going off on everybody around you, makeup team, hair people, this, if it's not perfect, right? You just want to get it right. And you want the people around you to do their absolute best to get it right, right? You don't have to go off on anybody. Let's pull another card before we close out your reading. Yes. Actually, we have two more cards to pull out. Let me see what's in this, this deck right here. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah. So you don't need to overthink this. Retrograde time is a great time to sit back and relax and really start your, you know, thinking about next steps. What do you want to speak into existence? Sometimes you're speaking things into existence out of desperation. You're crying out like, God, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to ask. Like, why do I feel this way? Okay. Well, if you had to get to that, to that point and you said it, guess what? You did exactly where you're exactly where God wants you to be, right? Responsibility close to the heart. Yeah. The responsibility is to yourself first, to you to give birth to the, something you're very passionate about, right? I see your life being golden, actually. That's what I'm seeing, your life being golden. What are you passionate about? What is close to your heart? For some people, it's creating a homeless uh, shelter. For some people, it is mentoring young women or young boys, you know, helping them to get prepared for college. I mean, it's a lot. This is what you could be doing right now while you're waiting on this to come so that you don't accidentally sit there overthinking something. You don't need to do that. Get involved in something. You may want to volunteer or something that you're very passionate about. Here we have, I am open and welcome whatever happens in my life. That's right. That's right. Have expectations for the life you want, but practice detachment from the outcome. If that is not great, I don't know what it is. Yes. Practice detachment from the outcome. You shouldn't be so disappointed that certain things didn't work out exactly. Like somebody, ex God does what's perfect, what's best for us. Even if we don't think the way that God is doing it is the right way. Like people question God all the time, right? But God, I, I wish you had just given it to me like this. God is like, I already know I'm already, yeah, I'm God. I mean, I see the whole picture. I already know how you would have handled it. Have I given it to you this way? I would already know how you would, I already know every scenario in this. I know how your story ends. So trust, trust that I'm doing what's best for you. This is what I have for you. Somebody needs to take some time out to really start focusing on something that you're very passionate about. Even if you have to volunteer just to keep your mind from drifting to who did you wrong, what snakes were in your life, that kind of thing. Because that's what God is trying to get you to do. Not to sit there overthinking it until you make yourself sick, until you compromise your immune system or make other people around you sick, right? Or you let them contaminate you to make you sick, right? So you, you have to sit there. You have no choice at that point to sit there and listen to what God is saying. So before all of that happens and things go into a downward spiral, you take the initiative and find something to do that you're passionate about and watch how quickly this is sped up. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days, Virgos. Bye.